I've nominated this area as a sea turtle refuge. That's a non-binding classification. Knowledge is an important area for at least four species of sea turtle. The green and hawksbill turtles that feed on the reefs, the olive ridley and flatback turtle that nest on the beaches. The most common one is the flatback turtle, found only in Australia. It does swim into some of the international waters around New Guinea and East Timor. It nests only in Australia. So if you like, it's a marine koala. We don't see it anywhere else. Typically they nest on the high tide and so we start our work two hours before the high tide. You'll hear us talking to the turtles about they've picked a good nest site, they're on the right side of the dune. Last night I was apprehensive because in the last two days we had zero turtles on the beach. There were no adults coming ashore to nest and we'd had no hatchlings. When they're not here, then we're starting to say, well, what's happening? Is there something that's happened offshore? Why aren't the hatchlings making it to the surface? Has it got something to do with the recent rain? Could it be with oil exploration, increased boat traffic? Their biggest threat is probably our lack of knowledge of them. We know work on the nesting beach very well, but the rest of the time we know very little about what's happening out at sea. Well, what we've tried to do is to ensure that we get as many hatchlings into the water as possible. You think there's a survivorship of maybe one in a thousand or one in two thousand, so hopefully we've made at least a small effort to increase the number of nesting flatbacks on the island. One of the challenges is the ownership of the oceans. Here we've got a system of commons where basically nobody's owning the reef yet. We want to move towards a system where somebody has obligations and responsibilities of looking after these sections of reef. It's just how they go about it. Marine protected areas seem to be a good way for that to move ahead. Areas that are being protected for a particular purpose, whether it be for fish or whether it be for cultural reasons or turtles. The idea of having people being responsible for their coastline, for their inshore waters, I think is a very positive move. Last night was one of those nights when it all came together again. We had six turtles on the beach, all of them nested, and also this morning we had four nests hatched. So going from zero to a very productive night was welcome. This is a totally wild animal. There you are, face to face, and sometimes you can be centimetres away from this animal, trusting you to enable them to get back to the water. That's one of the greatest things about it and you find that combination of the sea and beaches and the sun, it all comes together in that environment. Understanding that environment and putting a value on it, you can say you know, there's great value for these natural places.